Hi and welcome back to Brain Snacks. This episode is about the relationship that has our planet Earth with a beautiful star there up in the sky that makes us blink. One day on Earth has 24 hours and one year has 365 days. Almost. It is a little bit more complicated than that. The Earth turns one time around itself in actually just 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. This is called a sidereal day. The 24 hours instead are one solar day. It is the time that passes between the sun being in one exact spot in the sky and the sun returning to that exact spot. It is longer than a sidereal day because the Earth not only rotates around itself, but it also moves in its orbit around the sun. So the Earth has to rotate a little bit more than one whole turn to have the sun in the same spot again. The time that the Earth needs for a whole orbit around the Sun are about 365.256 days, traveling 940 million kilometers with an average speed of 30 kilometers per second. But what is so special about the Earth's rotation around itself or around the Sun? And how does it affect us on Earth? If you don't live close to the equator, it is completely normal for you that the length of days and nights change continuously throughout the year. Here we have our planet Earth. If it would rotate like this, the amount of daylight would always be the same in one location. But the reason why it is as it is, is this. The rotation axis is tilted about 23 degrees. Let's look what happens during one year on Earth. We start around December 21st. In the Northern Hemisphere, this is the shortest day of the year, with the longest night. It is the day when the North Pole is most tilted away from the Sun and when the sun is exactly overhead, the latitude of around 23 degrees south of the equator, also called the Tropic of Capricorn. This event is called the winter solstice. From now on the days will get longer and the nights will shorten, reaching the same length, so 12 hours each, around March 21st, on the vernal equinox. On this day, every place on Earth has 12 hours of sunlight. Well, almost. Due to atmospheric refractions, the day length varies a bit. Let's continue. From now on the hours of daylight excess the hours of darkness and the length of the days increase until the summer solstice around June 21st. This day is the longest in the northern hemisphere. Here the sun reaches the most northern point where it is directly overhead, the Tropic of Cancer, which is the latitude approximately 23 degrees north of the equator. After reaching the maximum, the day length starts decreasing again, but the days are still longer than the nights. Around September 23rd, during the autumnal equinox, the length of the day and the length of the night are the same again. 12 hours, everywhere on our planet. And from now on the days get shorter than the nights, decreasing their length until December 21st. Like this the cycle of one year is complete and everything starts over again. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to see more, please subscribe my channel and follow Brain Snacks on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And one last fun fact to end with, the Earth is actually closest to the Sun in the middle of winter in the Northern Hemisphere, around January 3rd, and the farthest in the middle of summer, around the 4th of July. This was Clara from Brain Snacks, bye bye! <laughs>